Welcome to this video on company research. In this video, we're going to look at researching the industry the company operates in. To do this, we're going to look at two library databases. The first is IBISWorld to look for industry reports that include details like major companies in the industry outlook. And we're going to look in Passport, which is a competitor of IBISWorld's that also has industry reports. And in here, we're going to look for things like market share and other industry data. If you typically start your research at Google, then first let's head to the library's website. I'm going to type in Humber Libraries, and then I'm going to go to the library website, library.humber.ca. Once I'm here, I'm going to type Company Research into the Discover box, and then click Find. In the results list, I can see that the first result says Company Research by Caleb Domsey. This is where we want to go. This is a specialized website for doing company and industry research. The links to the databases on this page have a special code in them that authenticates you as a Humber student, and that's because the information in these databases is not available to the public internet. The first one I'm going to look at is IBISWorld. This is the main search portal for IBISWorld. It says I can search by industry, keyword, company, or code. So let's just try starting with Nike, and then I'm going to press search. My search results actually look like only the first one kind of has something to do with Nike, which is footwear wholesaling, which maybe would be interesting for me. This isn't exactly a report about the footwear and apparel industry from the retail side. The perspective is very much from the wholesaling perspective. Okay, so this might not be exactly what I'm interested in, and this is why it's good to search multiple databases. Let's go back to the main search screen. I'm gonna look at family clothing stores in Canada. So we've already seen this first page of what the report looks like. There's other information that we can take a look at, such as the major companies, the menu for Ibis World is down the left-hand side. Here's where I can see some of the major companies and their market share. So here under family clothing stores, it's going to tell me about TJX companies, who happens to own Marshalls and Winners. The other area that's always interesting to look at in Ibis World is the industry outlook. Here's where I can see what the forecast is for this industry. Is it expected to be a growing industry or a shrinking one? And uh, what is it supposed to look like in the future in general? Another page I recommend taking a look at in IBIS World is the industry at a glance. Here's where I can see some key statistics, like the total revenue in this industry and the annual growth, the number of businesses, key trends, and just like we saw a SWOT for the company in MarketLine, here we can see a SWOT for the industry. If you're doing your research now but planning to write your report later, you might want to save this report to your computer. To do that, right beside the name of the report, Family Clothing Stores in Canada, is a download options link. Click that and then you can specify if you'd like to download the report in PDF or Excel format. So that's using IBISWorld to do industry research. Now let's take a look in Passport. When you load Passport, first you have to accept their terms and conditions. One of the interesting things to know about Passport is that our subscription to it covers very specific industries. It covers consumer products like alcoholic drinks, apparel and footwear, and consumer health. It covers a few services like consumer finance and consumer food service and a few supply industries. Because Nike it operates in the apparel and footwear space, this is going to be a good database for us. But if your company specializes in manufacturing or something like that, you likely won't find them in here. This database specializes for us in organizations that sell directly to consumers. Their search bar is up at the top of the screen. And similar to the other searches we've done, I'm going to type in Nike but I'm not going to press go or enter just yet. I'm just going to see what it auto suggests to me. All right. It has sort of two suggestions. One is under statistics and one is under analysis. I can see that the analysis includes profiles, which is what we're looking for. So they have Nike in apparel and footwear at the world level, and they have Nike Canada in apparel and footwear, and that's a local company profile. So that might actually be interesting to read. But because we want to research the industry, that actually gives me an idea. I'm actually going to search apparel and footwear then in Canada to see if I can find information about their industry that way. So instead of searching Nike, I'm going to type in apparel and footwear. And then I'm going to specify the country, apparel and footwear in Canada. And instead of pressing go or enter, I'm just going to click on this report from the drop down. This is what a report looks like when it loads in Passport. I can see an executive summary, which tells me different trends that are going on. I can see the size of the market, including the retail value and sales of apparel and footwear. I can see the sales performance, and I can see a bunch of other data about my organization, like the competitive landscape, 
which gives me market share for the different companies. Or if I scroll down further, I can see market share for the different brands that are operating in this industry. Across the top are different tabs I can use to learn more. For example, the Data Graphics tab. Here will show me all the different images and graphs that are used in this report. Some of the other interesting information that's in the Passport reports are things like channel distribution. This shows me where people are buying apparel and footwear. So I can see, for example, that 14.4% of apparel and footwear is bought through e-commerce or basically online. And I can see by this little arrow that that's a growing trend. One of the other tabs you may wish to look at is the Related tab. This will show me other reports that Passport has that cover this industry. So I might be interested in looking at apparel accessories or specifically footwear in Canada or specifically sportswear because we know Nike operates in that space. So here we can see that there's a lot of different industries that Nike operates in and I might want to take a look at a few reports to get a sense of the company. If you're doing your research now, you might want to download your report before moving on. Click on the download tab and you can actually specify the different reports you might be interested in. So here I'm going to pick apparel and footwear in Canada, maybe footwear specifically, and sportswear. And then I'm going to click download. So that's using Passport to research your company and the industry that they're within. If you're keeping track in your checklist, we did fairly well with respect to finding industry information like market share. So in this video, we looked at how to research the industry using two databases. IBIS World for Industry Reports and Passport for Industry Reports. These are both great to search in because they cover different industries as we saw, and you'll hopefully find the industry your company is located in by looking in both of them. This concludes our video on company research.